Hello, hello and uh, welcome to my talk for this week. It's taken me a while to consider how best to do this talk and I've decided that what I'm going to do is to read a statement by the primate and also a prayer that has been recommended to me by Archbishop MacDonald who, as most of you will know, is our national indigenous archbishop. The primate writes, last week the chief of the Emloops Te Sequipemec First Nation revealed news of the discovery of bodies of 215 children at the site of an unmarked burial ground at a former residential school near Kamloops, British Columbia. The identities of the children are unknown at this time. The grief of families and communities unleashed by this news is heart-wrenching and profound. There have long been stories told in indigenous communities of children who disappeared or never returned home from residential school and whose parents were never told what had happened or given an opportunity to receive their bodies for community ceremony. Whether the deaths were due to illness, abuse or neglect, the lack of dignity offered to these children by an anonymous burial far from their family or community is tragic and unacceptable. We grieve with all whose children never came home. The Anglican Church of Canada shares in the painful legacy of residential schools. We remain committed to the long, hard road of reconciliation, including apologies made for our part in residential schools in 1993 and a further apology made in 2019 for the devastating spiritual harm caused and we are committed to ongoing work towards reconciliation and support for healing for personal and intergenerational trauma. We know that there are sites at Anglican residential schools where some graves are unmarked or where records are incomplete. We're committed to working with indigenous communities to assist to recover whatever information is available and to join in advocating for ground searches of those burial sites. At the heart of our faith is the life of Jesus who said, let the children come to me, do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms and laid his hands on them and blessed them. The neglect of the dignity of children whom Jesus welcomed and protected calls for repentance in action. We, as Anglicans, commit to working with indigenous communities, leaders and elders to heal this legacy and honour the lives of the children who never went home. Archbishop MacDonald suggested the use of the prayer for holy innocence. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, whose children suffered at the hands of Herod, receive, we pray, all innocent victims into the arms of your mercy. By your great might, frustrate all evil designs and establish your reign of justice, love and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.